Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Sunday, relaxing Sunday. Today we are gonna hit the, where are we gonna hit? House. We're gonna hit the mall. Sophie's in a stage where she wants to be home with her friends. We're in a, in a time in the world where when you're with your friends, you're always at home because of COVID. But yeah, we're gonna hit the mall. As you can see, we're in full swing getting homeschool back in order. Are you excited to go back to school? No. No. Your friends will all be in school though. They're thinking of taking the... Yeah. Some of her friends are actually thinking about homeschool. I have spent the morning getting all this stuff ready, getting everything organized. I have an idea about your book here, Sophie. Why don't we print out a really nice words? We are waiting for Gabby. Gabby's in the shower. I got this happening. Like, I got this thing already. In the shower? Gabby's in the shower. We're gonna be here all day. We're gonna be here all day. I know, it's gonna be an all day affair. I have like a lot of last minute things to do. I have to go and look for more books and, and cur curriculum stuff at the mall. Plus, like I told you the other day, I'm getting a new grandbaby any day now. She's due really soon, but she had her last baby extra early. So I need to be prepared and make sure I have some gifts for that little girl. This morning I spent a few minutes sharpening a bunch of pencils. See this pencil sharpening sharpener? It's an electric pencil sharpener. It's an interesting story about that pencil, electric pencil sharpener. When I was a little girl, I would go to the mall and I would go into the Sears store and I would sit, they used to have all these like desks set up and I would sit at a desk with one of these twirling chairs on it and I would sit on it and I would twirl around. Like I'm talking when I was like seven, eight, and nine. I would twirl around and they always had these electric pencil sharpeners. It was the kind that you put the pencil in the top and you push down and it would it would chew the pencil and sharpen it. Well I wanted one of those so badly. Like I begged my mom for one but we didn't homeschool and there was really no reason to buy one. She never bought me one, but I wanted it so bad. And I remember one day praying and saying like, I really want this. Like it was the thing that I wanted so bad. And then I just let it go. I just let it go and stopped wondering about it, thinking about it. Then one day, many, many years later, when my boys were going back to school and pencil sharp, pencils didn't come sharp, pre-sharpened, I went up there and I bought one and now I have one and that is the way it works you guys when you want something desperately even if it's something so silly like a pencil sharpener you have to pray for it think about it dream about it I used to sit in those chairs swirl around and just like pray that I could have one say hi to Toby hi Toby and then one day it came into my life one day when I was just minding my own business doing nothing it just came into my, I mean, it was $40 or something back then. Now that one was $20. Things change and God has a way of bringing things into your life that are meant to be there. Even the silly, simplest things you need only just to ask, dream it, believe it, and then achieve it. That's why daydreaming and believing and praying are so important to your life. You can bring into your life all the things that you want. Some of them may take 20 years. Some of them may take 40 years. Some things might not come to you until you're 80 years old, but to get the things that you want, you have to believe it, dream it, oh, and achieve oh, it. Oh, I actually brushed my hair. Yeah. You're ready for a puppy. Wait, did, did I have to tell you to brush your hair? No. Did I have to tell you to brush your hair? No, I was brushing my hair in my room. I was in you. Did I have to tell you to brush your hair? No. I'm ready for a puppy. <laughs> She's not ready for a puppy. I get that question a lot. How come Sophie, Gabby got a puppy? Gabby gets up, gets dressed, has a shower when she needs one, does all the chores. I don't even have to ask her most times. She's just on it. And that's normal for a 10 year old not to be that way yet. It's really? normal, Sophie. One day you're gonna I be like that puppy, too. I got her puppy, I got her puppy water, I get her puppy out of the garbage. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, she's a family puppy too. She's all of our puppy. Gabby does all the work. She should actually take care of her. Okay, you are gonna get a puppy one day. You're gonna get... Oh my gosh, Dream. real life you guys, real life. It's another gorgeous day, gorgeous outside. Like, looks like it's gonna rain and it's overcast. Just gorgeous, perfect for riding. For the record, Sophie has a very mature, responsible 10 year old. And she does help with all the things that re regarding the puppy. What she didn't do was all the work in the beginning, getting up in the middle of the night and all the all the extra awful stuff and she shouldn't have to but she will get her puppy one day so uh, this morning we brought our chickens some snack 
it's it's a smoothie <laughs> nobody likes it i bought it yesterday and i wanted to see if they like it and boy do they ever like it these little girls will come near us all the time so you're gonna have to move it away oh you don't like it she's like give me something else Probably our chickens are getting a little bit spoiled they you saw yesterday they take it right out of our hands now and they tell us when they don't like something they're like give me something better i'm really good at spoiling people animals and by spoiled i mean by treating animals and people with all of my love and being kind to them sometimes i think the word spoiled is used in a negative way that really doesn't need to be sophie just reaches right underneath their butts and drags out the egg Oh my goodness, three already? <laughs> Is that one in there laying? Oh. Mm. Oh, that doesn't hurt because I'm used to it. Did you take it out from under her butt or is she... I oh. moved her. You moved her? Well, she was not happy about that. <laughs> They're like, what the heck is this? So I made these treats for the horses. I, I can be a lady. This is Sophie's new found thing that she loves to do. She goes on- I just didn't have applesauce, so they might not be as good. She goes on FaceTime with her friends and talks to them while she makes horse treats. Do your friends make horse treats too? Well, Peyton does. Yeah. Elizabeth has never made them before. Yeah, so she... And when you see this, Peyton would be done her show. Yeah, so show Sophie's friend Peyton is at a horse show today in Toronto. Oh, by Toronto. Oh, can we go? Oh, I wish we could go, but it's a big show and they said no outsiders. We didn't just... No spectators. Let's bring Finn. Let's go ride. I wish. Okay. Right. So she's going to test it out. This is where it gets dicey because they fight over treats. You should hope you have three. Good, smart girl. Finny's like, but what about me? I'm, the, I'm your boy. Okay. Whoa. Stormy boy loves it. Storm likes these treats. All right. Oh, he's still chewing. Go to the next one quick before he gets finished because then it gets dicey. Chino. Chino. Chino likes it. Finny likes everything. Then I got you the biggest one. That's why I didn't do you. Aw, Finny, you got the biggest one. Aw, look at him. Thing. Can you fix his mask? It's in his eyes. There we go. Dad put them on. Can you t fix them? Pull that one out a bit. There we go. We're going out, so that means that we have to put the crazy. horses in a field. So we're just trying to figure out, like, there's, like, when you have horses, I always just drive by and see horses just standing there doing nothing, and that's not the way it works. Like, you always got to be working with your horses. So they did get a little bit crispy. Yeah. So um, Gabby plans to ride today. I don't know if she's going to get to. It looks like it's going to rain. But um, we're trying to figure out what field to put them in. The one that has the best grass it's, they're gonna have to go in the backfield so uh every time when we come down in the morning sam comes down on weekends we get the kittens out of their jail we want them to get used to being inside this barn and roaming around and coming back here for food and stuff and honestly i just don't feel comfortable letting them go free i don't like outdoor cats i guess that's my whole point but if you have barn cats then that's just what happens holy cow just like that it just started pouring okay tell well, dad we should bring the ponies in the horses in well, it's not raining that hard. If I can hear it, it's raining hard enough. That's the roof. All right, so ponies okay. are going to have a treat. I just finished cleaning up poop. Gracie might not like it. Gracie likes it. Yummy. No. Okay, let's try it. Yay. Everybody likes your treat, Sophie. You could be a treat seller. Did you get bit? No, just a little teeth mark because Willow tries to bite her treats. All right, I ended up getting a bunch of stuff for the baby. I'll show you when we get home. I got some stuff for Jack too. Um, we went, I went to Children's Place. Now, where did I go? I went to Oshkosh, Oshkosh oh, yes. and Carter's. They always have the best deals. I love that place. All right, girls, ready? Go to the mall? No. What? No. You look ready. Gabby, are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Why are you guys lunching together then? All right, are you staying with dad? Yeah. Lazy, lazy bones. They hate shopping. I realize you can't blow, but you blow on your hands when you do this. Yeah, we just, <laughs> we just put sanitizer on our hands. All right, Gabby and I are the shoppers today in this family. I actually like pink hoodies. 
Gabby just saw somebody with a with a Gucci backpack. And yeah, I'm not a Gucci girl. Like, there's no Gucci store where we live. Gabby would like a Gucci That's backpack. Two hours away. They're two hours away. All right. So, what I want? That's so cute. Isn't that cute? Photo op headband swaddle. Which color do you like? Gabby's like, I hate babies. I hate baby stuff. I like it. I'm gonna get it. You like that? Let's see. That's kind of. She's got all sorts of boy toys. These are cute too. Three pack bandana bib. Gabby found something interesting. I can hear her. I can barely hear her. Oh. <laughs> Is that your favorite? Oh, that's a Corvette. I like the Lamborghini. Yeah, sweater. that's Gabby's dream car. She's dreaming, oh, believing, can you get it for me? and going to achieve it. It's a remote. I know, it's remote control, so that I should move around. But is that the color you want? No, I want bright neon lime green. Oh, I love it. And I'm getting it wrapped in rose gold. She wants light lime green wrapped in rose gold. What'd you get? Did you get a burger? Grandpa burger. Grandpa burger? Did you get a burger? Gabby also is addicted to bras now. Every time we come to the mall, she gets a new one. What are you addicted to? I want makeup. You want makeup? Again, you gotta wait. Gabby yeah, didn't get makeup until she was 13. And I didn't get a dog till I was 13. And she didn't get a dog till she was 13. So? It sucks being the youngest. No, it sucks being the oldest because the youngest normally, the oldest has to fight for what they want and then the youngest just gets it because the oldest got it. <laughs> so you'll probably be 12 when you get makeup. And a puppy. <laughs> yeah. Gabby and I are the walkers. Sam and Sophie are driving over. We had to go up to the other side of the mall to go to the bookstore. This is one of my favorite places on earth. This is why all the books I received the last yesterday are such a gift to me. Out of my five kids, I only have two that read, that enjoy reading. $25! Hope you that's like cheap. it. So we buy books for homeschool, so that's why the kids get books. And it costs like $25. Reading she read the whole series. It just came out too. Yeah, just came out. So this is what I do. I look at all the books that I like, and then I grab the ones that I look interesting, like that Supernova looks good, by Marissa Meyer. Hmm. And then I take them over and I sit Sister? down and I look at them, I read the first couple of pages to make sure that it's something I'm interested in, and then if it is, then I buy it. But I like her to have a big book like that because it takes her a long time to read it. When we go to the bookstore, Gabby and I look at books, and Sophie looks at all the toys. toys. Sophie and Sam hate books. If I don't get these today, then for Christmas. Sophie is determined to get herself a puppy today, no matter what form it comes in. Right, no, Sophie? these are cute, and it's she like. Yeah, easy to take care of puppies. Yeah, this is one of my favorite drinks at Starbucks. It's like the girly milkshake drink. And Sophie got her traditional dragon fruit refresher. Just following the lines of life, you guys. Following the arrows. We are at the dollar store now. It's our last stop of the day. I just want to get the last few things that I need for homeschool. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. Imagine the horses going around those. Surprise, surprise. I found some kids that I know down the makeup aisle. Oh, that's cute. I got unicorn lip gloss. And I got two of these lip gloss. Leave-in conditioner. Oh, Gabby loves the leave-in conditioner from the dollar store. We are home and we're gonna go down and hang out with our horses, do some fun things with our horses. Our horses are excited to see us home. Like, they ran to the gate when they saw us drive in. I literally just cleaned this whole table and now it's a mess again. She bought shampoo, she bought other shampoo as well. That's conditioner. Gabby is now a connoisseur of shampoo and conditioner. This is leave-in conditioner. Salon Selective's leave-in conditioner. She also got some lip balm. I got this for the baby. Isn't it so cute? It's a swaddle blanket with a matching headband and it's for pictures. I just think it's so adorable. I got this little set. It's just like a sweater, some pants, and a onesie. I got it in three months so that she can wear it when it gets a little bit colder. I got pants for her brother, Baby Jack. I got him a t-shirt to go with some of the pants and I got him this world's best bro shirt. I also got her these little sleepers in newborn. I also got her this other little outfit in newborn and it is the same thing. It's like a little onesie 
pants and a sweater. She could just wear the onesie and the pants until it gets cool and then she can wear the sweater. And I got her some headbands. So that's all I bought for her. A friend of mine gave me her devil stroller and it's not in bad condition. I'm gonna give it to them. If they don't love it, I told them that I'll buy them a devil stroller as well. So I bought, I bought Jolly Rancher lip balm, Nerds lip balm, Cotton Candy lip balm. Hmm, I'm noticing a trend. Strawberry ice cream flavor lip balm. I bought Unicorn lip balm. And she bought this I Decide My Vibes case. Before I hear any poor Sophie stories, this trip was specifically for back to school stuff, mostly book, <laughs> not for anything else. Gabby ended up getting a bra, it's true and some shampoo and stuff. Sophie cho chose some lip balm, but um, she did not want to choose a book, so I chose books for her. We got this book, this book called Pax. I've been dying to read this book myself. I also chose this book called Fable Haven, which I looked up and apparently has really good reviews. It looks really good to me, and I think that she'll really enjoy this. Uh, Gabby chose this book for herself, Midnight Sun. She read oh, all the nice. Harry Potter books, and she, loves, uh, and she loved them, so she decided to get this book. And she also picked this book for herself called The Chosen. I've never read it. I don't think I've ever read it. She chose it all herself, and this, these are two books that she's going to probably read. Hopefully she'll read this one first because it'll be a faster read. I'll read this book. It has a picture. <laughs> it has one picture. So I think I dreamed my horse. I don't know, I can't tell, but I think I dreamed her, him. It was a boy, it was a gelding, and he was a paint, and he was small, and I think it was a Pasofino. So I either dreamed my horse, or I dreamed about being at the Pasofino farm and taking a couple of lessons. Want a leg up? All right, this should be interesting. As long as I tilt it this way, it should be fine. How are you getting in, Sophie? She's walking around. Mom, Molly, come on! Can you oh, break girl. that spider web here? And I can try and push it a little bit. Oh, she can't push it. You can't go that way. Come it's on. it's stuck there. Why did you just move it? My way was easier. All right, so Sophie is at it again. She is, she begs me every day, mom, let's go down. Let's train my pony. Like she's so excited. Some of you guys were really worried about Sophie moving the reins and hurting Willow's mouth. Willow doesn't have a bit in, so it definitely won't hurt her mouth. So don't worry about that. Um, Gabby trying on the halter and the bit on Gracie, because we think we want to break her to drive too. Like Willow likes it now. She loves having a job. I've been looking for a cart for us. We're not quite ready. Willow's gonna start pulling some weight. Oh, I found a cart the other day and it was too big. I want, I have a price range for it. I've seen them all go for different prices. I know what like the usual price is for a cart and so that's what I'm holding out for. We found one yesterday and we messaged the lady but it was the wrong size. So I am like hopefully gonna be getting a cart soon this summer. That's a good girl. Like you guys don't know how much it took to get her. Like it was a lot of work, a lot of practice to get her just to be this good. I feel like a lot of people don't understand about how in English show ponies have to have their hair braided so they have to have it a they certain They can't have it braided like this. This would mean Yeah, they have to too long. Yeah, it can't be like this. I mean, it has to be It has to be about like that short for braiding. Okay, so the true test is gonna be how she does outside. She's only ever been training her inside. The weirdest feeling that we've lost the kitten. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no! Just get the pony out! Oh my God. Sam, watch out! Sam, don't go in the middle of them. Run, Sophie! Holy crap! <laughs> this is my idea. I'm like, sure, we can hack it. Oh my god. Oh god, now here comes Storm to the mix. Sophie! <laughs> this makes me nervous. That was a disaster. Sophie was nervous to take the pony out into the, into the arena. I said, like, the only way we're gonna really get her ready for a cart is to take her outside. Sophie thinks she's bad in the grass. Boy's got a little overzealous. 
I do not know how we're getting the pony back. Good job, Sophie. It was my idea. That was a very bad idea. You bad boys. Boys only think with their with their boy brains. Only think with their boy brains. Storm's like, whoa, there's girls. Clearly we have a lot more work to do to do because with the grass, she's not as energetic. Yeah, with the, so I wanted to walk her up and down the hill. You were gonna walk her up and down the hill? Yeah, so that she can get used to it. Like the one to go up to the hill. Oh, okay. Because there's a little bit of grass there. Okay, that's a good idea. We just gotta figure out how to get back past these guys. You're these guys are all excited. What? You're gonna have to lock them in the field. Like yeah, we'll lock them in the field. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. How did you get out here with the boys? I ran. <laughs> I wish I had seen that. Did you like, did the boys see you until you were halfway across the field? You know, I'm thinking, I think so. So I'm you right there. So our boys are literally all pumped up. They are ready to go like they're waiting they're blocking the entrance they're waiting for our, us to bring the girls out and that's why we don't put them in the same field people ask us all the time why don't you put the girls in the field with the boys mm -hmm. well that's why not only would they be like this but they'd be like attacking each other trying to fight for the girls and it would just be a bad situation and it would be different if our girls were normal size but our girls are tiny compared to them they're either excited about the mini or they're excited about the fact that she's got a tire attached to her i know this is not the exact right perfect way we're just doing whatever we can to get our horse used to pulling some weight in a positive manner in a place that she's used to with our her family i'm sure there are other ways to do it better ways worse ways this is the way that we're doing it right now and it's working out okay take my hand we'll make it somehow we can't miss out i'm done living life with the lights out die with my own doubts The boys are freaked out. I actually did not think they'd be that interested. Why, Mom? I didn't think the boys would be that interested in her. Well, they like it when other horses get energetic. Yeah, she's doing so good. Oh, there he goes. Can't be without their leader. Uh-oh. It's a toss-up between their leader or a girl. Go. Go find your leader. Isn't that crazy how Sam was at the house and we were alone in the barn and then suddenly Sophie got attacked in the field by all the horses. 
And yeah. Sam showed up at the last, like, right, was in the right place at the right time. When was that? When, did you see Sophie getting attacked by the boys? No. Oh, well, Sophie tried to go, and the boys, yeah, the boys got her. Dad had to save the day. Where's the cat? Like, I think he went, cat. somebody left that door open, I think he went out the front. Mm. Let's My look. cat's good, she stayed. No, you know how she stayed? Wow. Oh. Uh, Ruby terrified her behind the stove in the other room. There's a cat. Find the cat. Oh, is he behind there? Find it. Oh, All right. The There's a lot He's of crises crying. in today. Yeah. All right, that is it for today's video, guys. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow at the same time, the same place for new adventures. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but on weekends, we're kind of are like super chill. Usually people save all the fun for weekends. Uh, on the day by day fire, well, weekends are for relaxing. It's the time that we let our kids stay up really late. It's the time that they sleep in really late. It's the time that they have no energy because they didn't sleep much. And we just kind of chill and we've been relaxing, but that is it for relaxing on weekends. Next weekend, we have a big weekend and then the week after that, we have a big weekend and then the weekend after that, I don't know what's happening then, but yeah, lots of big weekends coming up. Anyway, remember you guys, you are beautiful just the way you are without changing a single solitary thing. Go out there and be yourself and slay. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?